If you purchased one of these special Koi LED lights, this part of the tutorial will show you how to use them. First, read the care instructions on the back. Open the bag from the top, and your LEDs should look like this. You should have a strip of LEDs, a 3 meter long cord so you can hang your koi from the ceiling, and a controller near the USB plug. For a tabletop type display, we want to hide the LEDs at the bottom. To do so, we will be inserting the LED strip into the scale that's right behind the bottom fin. Now take your koi and locate the scale that is right behind the bottom fin, right here. Now take your LED strip, making sure that the diodes are facing upward, and insert it into the fish. Continue inserting until there are no more LEDs visible. If the tip of the LED strip sticks out from the mouth of the fish, take the tip of the strip, form a U-shape, and insert it back through the mouth. Once the LEDs are all inside, you can pose your fish however way you like. For a hanging display, we will be inserting the LEDs from the top. First, locate the scale that is right in front of the dorsal fin. Push the scale away from the dorsal fin until it unhooks. Gently pick open the top scale, lifting it slightly. Then take the LED strip with the diodes facing downward and insert it underneath the scale. Continue inserting it until the entire LED strip is hidden within the fish. And now, you are able to lift and hang the koi from the LED cord. To power the LEDs, you can plug it into any USB hub or battery bank. Now turn your lights off to really let the koi shine. The button at the bottom controls the brightness. There are five brightness levels. Press it to decrease the brightness and press again to continue decreasing. Once you have reached the dimmest level, press once more to loop back into the brightest level. The middle button controls the color. There are 16 colors to choose from. Press the button to change the color and press it again to change it to the next color. There is a 17th option that auto plays a rainbow animation. You will find this animation right after the white color. Once you are on the rainbow animation loop, the bottom button becomes a speed control. There are five speed levels to choose from. The shortest animation cycle is 10 seconds, and the longest animation cycle is three minutes. And these are the basics of the LED lights. You can also download the app to control the LED lights remotely and select from an infinite number of colors. The app is compatible with both Android and Apple devices. Go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and download the Magic Lantern app. For this tutorial, we will be demonstrating on the Android device. Open your app and on the left, you can find My Devices. There should be the same number of devices as there are fish. Please note that the LEDs must be plugged in and turned on for them to appear under my devices. This chain icon means the device is connected. 
and if the chain is broken, click on it to reconnect. If you're having trouble connecting to your devices, try turning your Bluetooth off and on again. You can use the color wheel to change your entire school of koi at once. The wheel also allows infinite color selection and brightness adjustment. The power button lets you turn all your fish off or on at the same time. In the upper left corner, there are more color wheel options, such as adjusting the saturation, the color temperature, and brightness. By default, all the fish will change color together. But if you want just some of the fish to change color, you can go to the menu and create groups. For example, we want to control just the longfin koi, so we will make a group called long koi. Now we need to find out which device lights up which fish. The easiest way is to turn all the lights off. Learn to turn on only one and see if it matches with a longfin koi. We will do this with all the fish until we have the device name of all three longfins. The device names in this case are 4D, FC, and 4B. So we will hit the plus button here and check those devices to add them. Now, all the longfin koi are in this group and you can control them together. You can change the color or turn them on and off without affecting the other two. Next, we'll make another group called shortfin koi. And uncheck the three longfin koi devices. Then add the remaining two devices, which should be the shortfin koi. Now you can control just the shortfin koi and change only their color. To control all five fish again, go to the main group called My Devices. You can adjust all their colors or turn them off and on again. You can try out infinite color combinations to express your style. Have fun!